going on this evening guys it's Barrett from Porta Keeper I've gotten the same question multiple times this week and it's all about how this grinder sounds we're actually looking at the turn SD 40 it's the new grinder it's a conical burr grinder it has some gears in it so it sounds a lot different than the direct drive DF 64 so what I wanted to do real quick I actually have my Apple watch will be pretty much completely quiet it's about thir or 35 decibels so right there we're at about 35 decibels when it's pretty much completely silent and what I want to do is I want to run each grinder I just picking an arbitrary value of 18 inches I want to just show you about how loud each of these is I mean they might sound different but it might be about the same loudness so all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it at about 18 inches. Hopefully you can see it in the camera. And we'll kind of see the differences. Pretty consistently 82 decibels out of the Turin SD40. So hopefully you can see that in the camera. Let's do the DF64 real quick. Here we go. I'm going to try to make it so you can see it. I can't see my, my camera to make sure that you can see it. So pretty much across the board, 83 decibels the entire time. And when it ran out of beans, you could hear it actually go down to like 77-ish decibels. So honestly, we got 82 out of this SD40 and we got 83 out of this DF64. Now I'm giving my perception here. My perception is this SD40 is louder than the DF64. Now, is it really louder? It's just kind of more the, the pitch and the perceived sound that comes out of it. But I would say side by side, this is a logarithmic scale. So one decibel is, you could say, quite a bit louder, but it's really not. I mean, side by side, it's, it's more of a different pitch to me between these two grinders. So I wouldn't really worry about it. I think this is just maybe a little bit more annoying. I know. It comes through different through the audio, but it really kind of has that gearbox sound where this has that nice motor hum that I think people are maybe a little bit more used to. If you have like a Brazza, maybe a Niche Zero, um, the Breville grinders, you're going to get that more gearbox sound. It's not a big deal. It's just, just, it's just a different sound. So I wanted to let you guys see side by side. Um, if I can get my hands on some other grinders, like maybe some of these Breville grinders or a Brazza grinder or something, I can tell you right now the Brazza SD40 is a whole lot louder than both of these, considerably louder. So I'm pretty happy with the volume or the, the noise that these put out. They're not a whisper, but they're not loud. Um, the Kiato and the Atom 75, I would say, are pretty much the quietest grinders that I've used. This K30, it's fairly quiet as well. So those are a little bit more on slightly higher end. That K30 is actually a commercial grinder. So they're designed just to be a little bit quieter and they have, they've put a little bit more money into the mounts of the motors and all that. So obviously they're gonna be a little bit quieter. These are all pretty much direct drive motors you're gonna get a little bit more resonation throughout the case. I really don't see it as that big of a deal. So if you got, I'm picking on the Brazza, but like the Brazza 270, it is so loud. I have the old Preciso. It's quite a bit quieter than the 270 and it's still fairly loud. So I need to probably get that grinder. It's not at my house, but I'll try to do a couple more comparisons between these two and some noise. So. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Again, these are available at Espresso Outlet. He has these on pre-sale. He still has a few left. 
he'll be getting more. The DF64s, I'm not actually sure if he has any left from his latest shipment, but he gets them all the time. So you really can't go wrong with either of these. Check it out. It's a EspressoOutlet.net. And you can check out my products at portakeeper.com. Thanks for watching.